Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Okay, so I'm going to use just three colours and I thought why not try and prove that sometimes less is more. So I'm using a turquoise blue, I'm also using a precious gold, this is one of my favourite colours, and instead of a black I'm going to go for a Payne's grey. And I'm going to use those colours to create a design on my canvas. My canvas is 18 inches by 12 inches. And I'm going to do some liquid puddles and use a marble. I've already painted my sides, so let's get this started. I'm going to take one colour at a time. I've started with the Payne's Grey and I'm literally going to puddle the paints on the surface of my canvas. You'll notice that I'm focusing more on the middle of the canvas. I'm not worrying about puddling the paints more towards the edge. That's because when I put my marble on, I'm going to tilt. And as I tilt, the paint that I've already got on my canvas that's in the middle will spread across the canvas itself. So to minimize any paint wastage, there's no need for me to put any paint on the sides at the moment because the main focus is the middle and that's going to spread out. As I always say, there's absolutely no rush when you create. So just enjoy being in the moment of now. Don't worry about the end process and what the result may turn out like. Just enjoy the process that you're in and all we're concentrating on at the moment is puddling the paints in the middle of the canvas. And again, as you can see, I'm not just doing one puddle, I'm doing various puddles, and I'm puddling all different colors within the same puddle. That's gonna help create some infusion with the paint and some depth to the piece. As you can see, the main colours that I've got directly in the middle of this piece are gold and the blue turquoise. That's mainly because I want those colours to take prominence over the other colours when I tilt the design across the canvas and look at my composition. So if there's a certain colour that you want to ensure has the main focus on your piece, then I'd suggest puddling those directly in the middle because when you tilt the canvas to look at the composition and the design that you're creating, it's more likely that you're going to keep more of the colours that you place within the middle of the canvas than on the outer edges. Okay, so now I'm going to place my marble directly in the center of the canvas. I'm going to pick up my canvas and I'm just going to gently tilt the canvas, which will move the marble. The marble will hopefully be able to be controlled a little bit more 
because of the thickness of the paint that it's within. And you can kind of see the lines that you're creating by moving that marble across all those puddles that you've layered with the paint. And as you stretch out the design further, those lines will increase. So drop your marble off the side once you've finished with creating enough lines, place it down and have a really good look at the pattern that you've created. Then that way you can get an idea of where your blocks of colour are and where your lines have been created with the marble. So now it's about tilting this design out. And I'm going to start by moving my canvas in a circular motion. That's going to help spread the paint out that's already layered within the middle. So now I'm just adding a little bit more paint to my base. This isn't to change the design that I've already got. The paint that I'm now layering on the base, you can see, are in the areas where there is no paint. So what that means is I'm adding that paint on as a flow extender. I'm adding that paint on so the paint that I've already got within the middle of the canvas can flow a lot easier without rolling on top of each other. The black paint, sorry, the Payne's grey paint that you can see will help that design flow and go over the edges. So by adding that extra paint will help your design that you've already created in the middle flow a lot easier across the canvas, down the edges and across the corners. There really is no rush to this process when you're doing this type of technique. Take your time to really look at what colours, what lines and what block colour you're pushing over those sides and down the edges. You can always bring the paint back on itself. So as you're tilting, just tilt back towards yourself to bring that paint in which allows you to then move it across different parts of the canvas. Just do that slowly, tilt back and forth to walk that paint across the canvas without rushing. It's really important that you enjoy being in the process and enjoy being in the moment of now when you're creating because it really helps you to connect with the piece that you're doing and it helps you to really look at the design that you're creating. So when you're tilting, it's about creating a composition that you're happy with. So I'm happy with this one. I'm going to tidy up my sides. There are a few air bubbles, so I'm going to use my torch to pop those air bubbles before I complete this piece. So I'm going to take you in for a close up of the wet version so I can show you some of those details, the blocks of colour mixed with the lines that were created with the marble and how by layering those puddles with different colours ensures that those colours infuse and layer within each other to create depth to this piece. By layering those colours one by one on top has enabled me to create this type of design. It's a nice sunny day here at the moment. So let me show you this piece that I've placed in the sun so you can see the shimmer that the gold has. 
you can see that the design held its form on top of the canvas and I've been able to create those blocks of colour mixed with those lines with the prominence of the gold and the blue turquoise. I really love this. This is one that I've had so much fun with. Let me know what you think. Are you going to try this too? If you do, please tag me in your post. I'd love to see what you create. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have a great day ahead. Thanks again everyone for all of your support and I'll leave you with some more of the details and I really hope I get to see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye.